Hey, man, Machiavelli Mills TV, y'all, DeMar DeRozan is a fucking problem. He's a problem, and ain't nobody got an answer for him. Ain't no, can't nobody solve him at all. When he in the rhythm in the fourth quarter, give dude, a, give dude the ball and get the hell out the way. Watch him work his magic and watch him lead the Bulls home every single time. Fresh coming, he's fresh out of COVID protocol. First game back, the dude deliver a like amazing performance. 38 points, uh, six assists, four rebounds, and 34 minutes of play. He hit like what 15 out of 16 free throws down the stretch. Like, dude was amazing. Like what 19 or 21 points in the fourth quarter, something like that. Like DeMar DeRozan, I don't all them people that was talking about he was the worst free agent uh, acquisition all year. Y'all like y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about, obviously. Dude out here playing with a chip on his shoulder, and he out here to prove everybody that doubted him wrong. And I'm not, I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Y'all know I'm a huge LeBron James fan. When I first heard of, and I'm going to be real, I thought DeMar would be averaging maybe like 21 a game or something like that. I didn't think he would be out here averaging nearly 27 a game and having fourth quarter performances like this. But I knew he was a good acquisition for the Bulls. I didn't think he was terrible at all. But I didn't see this stuff happening like that. I didn't see this at all for real, for real. Like, Dude has really shifted his game to a whole nother gear. A whole nother gear. Like, we knew he was good from the mid-range, but the way he's closing out games and the put, and putting the Bulls on his back in the clutch, it's phenomenal to watch. As a Chicago Bulls fan watching that, watching that game, I wish I was at the United Center tonight. To see that performance and to feel the feel of energy from the crowd, that shit was, it was emphatic, y'all. Like, And this is the thing, too, man. The Lakers played a great game. They played well. They shot a better percentage. Uh, they shot a better percentage than the Bulls from the field. Um, now they lost. They they missed a whole lot of free throws. Like they missed. Hold on. What's, what what they shot? Sixty three percent from the free throw line. They shot fourteen. They hit fourteen out of twenty two free throws. Uh, they won the rebounding battle. They won the assist battle. Um, they had a lot more. They had nine more turnovers, but they won the points in the paint battle and so on and so forth. LeBron James finished with thirty one points. Six assists, 14 rebounds. Russell Westbrook had 20 points, eight assists, nine rebounds. Carmelo Anthony had 21 points and five rebounds. Like, they had a really good, they played a really, really great game. It's just the Bulls, man, they, they hit the right shots at the right times. Got the rebound, the right rebounds at the right times, and they had DeMar DeRozan on their side to close this game out. Let me shout out uh, Nikola Vucevic, right, because I killed him in that last game against the Miami Heat, how Dwayne Devin was murking him, right? Tonight, 19 points, 13 rebounds, and 13 and 35 minutes of play. That's what we need to see Vooch do night in and night out, right? Especially now that Zach Levine gone, he got to be aggressive and get going in the paint too. Now, he was stretch, he can stretch the floor with shooting, but at least go inside first. Work your way inside and then go out, right? And I'm like, that's what we talking about. Lonzo goddamn ball. Like, I'm y'all, this was one of the him and him and Alex Caruso were some of like that these this acquisition those acquisitions for the Bulls were so underrated to me. Lonzo is the perfect point guard for this team. Do know how to get everybody high percentage shots in the like in in a sweet spots. He plays excellent defense. I'm talking about excellent ball hawking defense that annoys the hell out of some of the best players in the league. He can guard bigs. He can guard. He can guard small smalls. He can play any type of way you want him. He can use an all purpose. Guy that can do everything you want him to do. If you want to, he, he's improved his three-point shot so much. And I'm so proud of the brother. He was getting killed earlier on, earlier on in his career. And now he's fixed it, and I'm more than impressed. Alex Caruso, y'all. 17 points, 9 rebounds. I'm so glad he's a part of this team. He wanted to stay with the Lakers originally, but I can say this, right? I'm sure now that he sees what's going on, I, don't, I know he knows that he wouldn't have probably been playing this type of pivotal role on the Lakers team that he is on the Bulls team. He's doing so much for the Bulls. He's really like the straw that started a drink coming off of the bench. He started tonight because we got players missing over there. Zach Levine are missing. She, he started tonight. But every time he get on the floor, man, dude always make good things happen. Like, plus minus is always good. It's always money, man. And, and I've just been impressed from him the, the whole way. And then Kobe White, he only had five points tonight, but he dunking that shit, like poking that mug with LeBron trailing him. You know how LeBron like to get them chase down blocks. Trailing him like that and he go and finish like that, man, I'm really, really happy. Um, I'm, I was happy that happened and I'm hoping he gets some, he gets his feet under himself now that he's back coming back from COVID protocol, man. But guys that don't get a lot of uh, shout outs that do great things, Lonzo, I mean, uh, what's my boy name? Um, 
what's the boy? Golly. With Javante Green, nine points. I'm looking at how much time I got left. Nine points, six rebounds. Um, Alfonso McKinney, man. Shout out to Al, man. Kiefer Sykes, y'all know that's my brother. That's my brother in my blood, for real. That's been my best friend since I was in um fourth grade, right? Since we were little, little bitty boys. Al went to high school with him at Marshall High School. When they, play, they, play, they played at college together at University of Wisconsin, Green Bay. Al didn't play a whole lot when he was in college because of knee injuries. To see Al out there playing his heart out on a 10-day contract, showing that he deserves to be on his team, getting clutch rebounds, playing great defense, doing the right things at the right time, stuff that's not always in the box score. Al, I see you, baby. You out there doing the damn thing, and you need to be uh, put on this team and extended. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping to see you back with the Bulls again, and you get to stay on this team because you, you, you were doing a lot of great things, especially when big players was out, doing coming in and stepping in and picking up uh, the slack uh, for a lot of players, even on defensive assignments. I see you, baby. But, like, this Bulls team, y'all, 18 and 10, sweep the Lakers in the, um, the, for the season. It's I'm telling y'all, man, it's something special about this Bulls team, man. They relentless. They don't give up. Even when star players are going off like LeBron James, LeBron was going to work and getting in motion at times, right? Finding an open man like Wayne Ellison and them like that. Um, Russell Westbrook finding his groove. Carmelo Anthony finding their groove. The Bulls never got deterred. They kept fighting. And again, DeMar DeRozan be like goddamn Michael Jeffrey Jordan in the fourth quarter. Can't nobody mess with him. Now, LeBron blocked this shot at the end, but I'm talking about when because he, he went to the cup. But when he, like, when he's shooting that mid-range, Jay, it don't matter who switched on him. LeBron, I done seen LeBron do it. He didn't Jay LeBron. He didn't Jay KD. He didn't Jay some of the top defenders in the league. He don't, it don't matter who coming out on him. He fucking them up. They ain't, they ain't messing with dude at all. They can't see dude, and he don't see nobody in front of him. It's like he just wide open every single time in his eyes. And I'm like, that's how you hoop, shorty. That's how you hoop, DeMar. And, and DeMar, man, I'm just super impressed with the brother, man. And I see all the Toronto Raptors fans are super excited for him because DeMar deserves this moment, man. Like, a lot of people were never noticed how good he was. Even in San Antonio, they it really masked, masked his play because, you know, they got to play within the system in San Antonio. Uh, Pop don't be playing an individual ball. Now we see what he really made of and what he really could do when he's unleashed and unchained, cha unchained with a great coach. When he unleashed with a, a great coach like Billy Donovan, this shit looks beautiful. And it's looking good for my Chicago Bulls, man. Machiavelli Mills TV, y'all let me know what y'all think about them Bulls in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.